Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be making a mung bean pastry. So for this pastry, you'll need two doughs. For the first dough, you need to melt the butter in the hot water and then add in your erythritol and cold water. If you don't have erythritol or you don't want to make sugar-free desserts, you can use the same amount of white sugar. Now we're just going to mix the dry ingredients. Both of the flours were sifted so there are no lumps. We're going to add in the mixture that we just made with butter and water. Now we're going to start kneading the dough. We can use our spatula to mix all the ingredients together until it forms a dough. Now when the dough is not sticky, you can start kneading it with your hand. As you guys can see, there are now no dry flour on the side of the kneading bowl. This is where we can let the dough sit for a while and let the gluten rest so it would become easier when we knead it again. After 15 minutes, the dough is now softer and easier to knead. So we're just going to knead it a bit longer. We can also beat the dough so we can allow the ingredients, the flour, the oil to distribute evenly. And then just knead it for a bit longer. You can see the texture of the dough. It is not too hard or too soft and it is not sticky at all. Now we're going to cover it with cling film and let it sit for 45 minutes. Alright, now we're going to make our second dough. Now with this dough, you can use whatever flour you want, whether it's cake flour, all-purpose, or bread flour, it's totally fine. Because we're not using water, we're only using oil, so gluten wouldn't form. Since I already used butter in my first dough, I was thinking of using a dairy-free oil for my second dough, so I picked refined coconut oil. But of course, you guys can substitute the refined coconut oil with the same amount of butter or other vegetable oil. Now we're just going to bring the dough together using our hands. Now we can start dividing up the mung bean paste. I've uploaded a video of the mung bean paste. You can find the link in the description box below or in the card on your top right corner. We're just going to cover the filling with cling film to prevent it from getting dry. Now our first dough is ready, it's been 45 minutes. We're going to take the dough out and start dividing it up. Since we've let the dough sit, it's super stretchy and soft, you can stretch it really easily just like this. Now we roll it out long and we can start dividing it into pieces. So we need to continuously cut the dough in halves until we get 16 pieces. After dividing the dough, we can put it aside and cover it with cling film to prevent it from getting dry. Now we need to do the same with the second dough. We're going to divide it into 16 pieces. We need to shape each of them like this and then put it aside. 
now we take out one of our first rows and fold it until we have an even smooth surface. We're just going to press hard on it to flatten it out, thinner on the sides and thicker in the middle. And then you wrap in one of the second dough. You can wrap it any way you like as long as you don't wrap in any air bubbles. It should look like something like this. Now we're just going to put it back and cover it with cling film and continue with the next one. When we're done wrapping all of them, we can start folding our dough for the first time. We're going to take out the first dough that we wrapped. We're just going to flatten it out with our hands and use a rolling pin to roll it out just like this. You don't need to roll it out too long, it just needs to be 7 centimeters long. And we're just going to push the dough up just like this and place it back and cover it with cling film. When we finished folding all of them, we're just going to cover it with cling film and let them all sit for 15 minutes. Now 15 minutes later, we can start folding it for our second time. So we're going to take out the first dough again. And we're just going to press it down with our palm. And use the rolling pin to roll it out. Just like before, we're going to fold the dough upwards. When we're done folding for our second time, we need to cover with cling film and let it sit for another 20 minutes. After letting the dough sit, we can start stuffing. Now we take out our first dough and press it down from the middle to bring the two sides up. And we're just going to flatten it out with our hands. Now we can use our rolling pin to roll out the dough and flatten it. Remember, you don't need to spend too long to get a perfect circle. Any shape would be fine as long as the filling can go in. It just needs to be something like this. And then you can take your filling out and slowly stuff it in. Now you just need to slowly pull the dough up. And slowly, using your hand, slowly seal the dough with your fingers. By doing that, you might pull up a piece of dough, just push it back in and shape the dough again. Now we're just gonna press on it gently to flatten it out. Now I'm making another one. I added a teaspoon of brown sugar in here just to give it some more flavor so the sweet taste doesn't just come from the filling you're gonna have a caramelized brown sugar taste we're just gonna seal it like this and flatten it out when we're done with stuffing we can cover our pastry with cling film and let it sit for 15 minutes now we can finally bake it in the oven at 180 degrees celsius for 20 minutes and then 170 for 10 minutes now our pastry is baked, let's just cut it out. You can see how crumbly and delicate the pastry is, and the layers are super clear and structured. I know that it takes a lot of time and patience to make this pastry, but I hope you enjoy it. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. I'll see you next time.